we always start with our top five. And last week, uh, last two weeks, we were doing top five people, top five female artists, and then top five male artists as well. And this week, we are back to food. Um, and this should be interesting because um, I feel like we talk about like top five pizza. Why is my phone uh-huh. all of a sudden like making noise? I don't know, but that? it's wanting to be the star of the show. Right? Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, we've done the top five pizza, I think. We've done top five barbecue. And now we are going to do top five fast food french fries. So french fries. We're not talking about like the restaurant itself here. We are talking about specifically their french fried potatoes um, and how they, um, how they rank. And so this can be any fast food restaurant, um, like Red Lobster, for example, not a fast food restaurant, Katie. Not, too bougie. Not. <laughs> they are far too bougie to be making yep. it on, the, on this yep. list. The only one who should be blowing you up is me. Well, cool me, get in my inbox then, my dude. What the hell are you waiting for? Ooh. Um, actually, I'm pretty excited because a friend of mine who was living in Knoxville, Tennessee, Used to be from East Texas, and he moved there. And he's one of my favorite artists, and uh, he just moved back to Texas. And I found out about it through him trying to book a show right down the road from me. So I was like, wait a minute, when were you going to tell me, you jerk? But anyway, so that's him messaging me. Uh, But yeah, so we're doing top five French fries, and we're going to start with Katie at number five. Who, Who has your fifth best French fries? Whataburger. Really? Yeah. So, I do love Whataburger just because, man, I would eat them for breakfast. I would go to Whataburger for breakfast and get french fries and gravy for breakfast, like a crackhead. You know how I am with my gravy. Maybe that's what it is, too. Because they have gravy? You probably. And some, of these, <laughs> but some of these other places great, don't. But here's the thing. They're usually either limp or dry. <laughs> Golly. She, look. We are literally four minutes in, not even, and she's already trying to cancel us, (laughs) y'all. Yeah. So if they're limp or dry, how the hell do they make the list, Katie? I was working (laughs) Uh, Cool me. So Whataburger, and I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, is one of the most overrated restaurants on the planet, in my opinion. I can agree on that. Yeah, I don't, and they but, they they will not be making my list of anything ever. But man, their French fries aren't pretty good. They got a good taste to them. They do just the right amount of salt. But like I said, some of them are either either limp or like dry. They're too little but, for me. Like they're just too shoestringy. And I'm the I'm the, the okay. Then our lists are going to be very different. <laughs> probably so. Yeah, probably so. My number five. And the only reason why they didn't make it higher is because they just switched their recipe, um, is Sonic. So Sonic used to have really, really good fries to where I would have put them probably two or three, but they switched to crinkle cut recently and they're still good, but I'm not a huge crinkle cut French fry kind of guy. So, um, because of that, I have them at number five. Um, got it. So, Sonic, if you ever switch back, you will do better on my list. So. I used to see, and I still, I love those kind of fries, too. Like, Sonic, they, their fries used to be badass. But here's the thing. We're talking about seasoning, not just fries. That's what makes fries different. Mm-hmm. It's seasoning. Can. Jackson, like, he hates Raisin Cane's. He's like, they don't season anything. She didn't say limp and small, cool me. She said limp and dry. And dry. so Yeah. Yeah. You do not line up with with a hundred percent of that. Hey. Okay. Hey. Because we all know you're not dry. You cannot be dry while watching me. We hey. know this already. Hey. Hot poo. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Mm-mm. So who's number four uh, on your list for French fries? Wendy's. Okay, okay. Wendy's has good fries. And Ozzy, okay, so Jackson's not home tonight. You can't see his face, but... (laughs) (laughs) Ear. Okay. Anyway, 
Wendy's. Yeah, I like Wendy's fries. I like like a good like um how would you how would I say that? Not like a homemade fry kind of thing. But are like talk, are you kinda? talking about the skin on? Is that what you're talking about? Like the skin still being on the fries? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can't see you, though. Yeah, your thing just froze, and now... I mean, you're back for me now. I don't know why you can't see me, though. Yeah, I, I don't know. Still, I can still see you fine, but... Yeah, when yeah, is this on my list? Off. But, yeah, it's got to be on your end. I don't know. Probably. Um, Let's see here. My number four, I have Wingstop at number four. And I think the reason why I like Wingstop so much, and I'm, I'm saying this without Toby in the room, um, because Toby loves Wingstop. He loves everything <laughs> about Wingstop. You say Wingstop around Toby, and he starts going ballistic. See, and um, I'm a Buffalo Wild Wings gal, but continue on. Yeah. I love their fries, though, um, and I, I get them quite a lot. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> I like Wingstop again. Um, I think you're talking about limp fries. Like, Wingstop's fries are always limp. But for yeah. some reason, I like them. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. So what's it's number like three the, for you? So this is where we're going to start getting off. But I feel like what you, it's like a, what you're gravitating towards is more like a, not like a homemade kind of feel, but kind of more than like, just like dipped in grease, little french fries. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Who are we like talking to about? have like a more... French fries, like Wendy's and like, what? which one did you just say? Like Wingstop? Like the thicker fries, like that's kind of like a homemade more kind of feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like something your mom would make instead. Right, like steak fries almost. Kind of yeah. Yeah. A little more yeah. meat on okay, it. So anyway. what's number three for you? You're probably going to hate it. Steak and shake. Can't say I've ever had steak and shake, so I don't know. Oh my god, they're like McDonald's, but like half the size thinner. So they're more shoestring then, like uh, Whataburger. Yeah, they're like McDonald's, but they're more crispy. Okay. But they're so good, man. You get that, and then they have, they're, like, they have like M&M milkshakes and shit like mm. that. Would you... See, you live in the city, so you have more options than me, and I feel like that's not That's fair. actually 30 minutes away for me, but... Yeah, but still, like... Is. Within 30 minutes of me, like, there's not that many restaurants within 30 minutes of me, you know? I was down at the lake uh, yesterday, and we're probably going to move back out there, you know, next year. And I'm like, damn, they ain't got shit out here. <laughs> Are you man. talking Cedar Creek out that way? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I'm like, man, they ain't got a Popeye's, they ain't got a Panera, they ain't got a Buffalo Wild Wings. Nothing. I don't know where the nearest Wendy's is. There's no yeah. Chick-fil-A. There's nothing. And speaking of Chick-fil-A, I've got Chick-fil-A at number three with their waffle fries. <laughs> I absolutely love their waffle fries. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I love uh, just the, it's the difference, right? Like if, uh, if you want something different, I feel like Chick-fil-A is your different, right? If you don't want burgers, you go to Chick-fil-A. If you don't, if you don't like, Regular fries, you go to Chick Fil A, and I feel like yeah. Arby's is trying to do the same shit with like their curly fries, except Arby's yeah. is just absolute ass in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had Arby's like once, and I was my like, mom like... loves it there, and nobody in my family likes it but her. <laughs> like it's just I dislike it so much. All right, so what is your so... number two? <laughs> Chick Fil A. <laughs> okay. So we're Love very Chick -fil -A. we're very similar actually. Kinda. Kinda kinda. Actually, so yeah, because I, I see yours now. Um now that I'm looking. But yeah, I uh I love Chick-fil-A French fries. It's like cause I love potatoes. So like that's a different thing. That's not a floppy fat fry. God damn it. <laughs> I like Fat, floppy fry. <laughs> I like fat, floppy fry instead of floppy, fat fry. Yeah, the <laughs> placement of the word, I guess, is all the difference. I don't know where you're at tonight, uh, Katie, but we've got a long way to go, and I'm a little bit worried about you. I'm going to keep it fair. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm kind of... 
I'm kind of worried too because we're not even my bitch fit yet. <laughs> I haven't even made it to the bitch fit. All right, number two for me. I'm gonna get some hate for this. I got McDonald's at number two, um, and I, obviously McDonald's I feel like is like the standard bearer of French fries. Like everybody says they're the yeah. best, and I agree to an extent. But there is one restaurant that I like more um, at number one. But what is your? Did you already say your number two? Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. So what is your number one? Mickey D's. Um, obviously. Um, but yeah, man, I just, I feel like that's the kind of thing, like when you're like, I want a snack and like you're out driving about and shit, like, you're like, man, I want some McDonald's French fries. Yeah. You know, and like, that's it's just com- like. It's comfort food, right? That it's okay. Look, when I'm like driving around, I'm like, I want a snack, not a whole meal. I either get McDonald's French fries or I get a pretzel twist from Sonic. Hell yeah. Company. We are talking the same way. Those I love the pretzels. Yes. Nah. We call that our, our crack around here. Sonic crack. Yeah, those pretzel twists are ridiculously good, dude. Oh, my God. Anyway, yeah, so you guys can probably figure out my number one is Wendy's. I like Wendy's because they... I, I think the, the the major reason why I like Wendy's is because I like everything else at Wendy's, too. And so, like, yeah. I, I feel like, I yeah, I feel like they have good chicken sandwiches, they have good burgers, they have good fries, like, everything there, the nuggets are fantastic. Like, everything at Wendy's is so dope. So, like, anytime, and Wendy's is so much further away from me than McDonald's, so it's more of a treat when we go, because they're, yeah. like, 30 minutes away instead of just eight minutes away. So right. I feel like Wendy's has flip flopped with McDonald's because of those reasons, but um, yeah. What are your top five fr- favorite French fries out there, guys? If you are watching uh, live on Twitch, let me <laughs> know in the chat. Fat floppy, fat, floppy, limp, dry French right. fries. That's right. Uh, so comment down below if you're on YouTube or wherever you are watching what your top five is. Did we get it right? Or did we get it wrong? And um, we always say that Katie is wrong and Boston is right. Don't forget that, guys. Yeah. 